Hi, what's up YouTube? Happy Friday. So this is the uh, the Lotus 11 Club. <coughs> Somebody asked them who made the who who the maker is of this car, and I don't really know, but I'm gonna show you the box. I'm not gonna try pronouncing it. Well, maybe I will. It's La Festa Mille Miglia. Here's what the box looks like. And you can you can pause it if you want. This it comes in an acrylic and screwed onto a base. It's only a five car run, and I only have the uh I have the top one, the Ace Bristol, which is the predecessor to the Shelby Cobra. And then I have the Lotus 11 Club. I would love to get that Alpha. <coughs> but, yeah. Um, I don't know if it's a... Well, there's some more info there. <coughs> so, I really don't know what the origins are of the casting or that kind of stuff but my source gets very random premium detailed stuff and then i acquire it from him so that is pretty much all i can really tell you about it oh. <coughs> sorry oh, oh big frog in the throat um i got a car in the mail today so i said in another video recently Gosh, it's probably been two weeks ago or so. I bought two cars from Japan Booster. And then the next day, I bought one car. So they shipped out separate. The two cars shipped out together. The third car shipped out separate. Well, my post office has been holding the two cars. So I got the, the individual car that I bought the day later today. So I need to go down there tomorrow and find out why the other one is being held up in Phoenix. So, <clears throat> anyway, so this is the Lotus 11 Club. i just showing it just to uh, answer the question for the viewer. Um, the car that I got today is another absolutely stunning casting. And uh, I do love it. It's an instant favorite. From Tomica Limited Vintage. It's a Fair Lady Z. And it is just about as detailed as you'll find for the uh, scale. <clears throat> So, if you guys, if there's a particular car that you like, and you're a 1 to 64 scale collector, you definitely want to check out Tomica Limited Vintage to see if they make the casting, because they are just, I mean, it's just like the best you can get. Just look at the lines on this thing, and the detail. Look at the wheels. I think that's my favorite part of this car is those are the most awesome wheels I think I've seen on a Tomica Limited Vintage. Try something a little different here, a little different angle. All right. That is epic. That is such a nice casting. Definitely glad I brought this one home into the collection. 
Um, so anyways, I don't know if it's a, a 240 or a 260. It's just a, licensed as a Nissan Fairlady 2x2. But everybody loves a Z car, right? And so <clears throat> with that said, since I'm doing this video and it's only one car, I figured I would show another Z car. Now this one, I guess it has a little bit of a sprung suspension, but not as much suspension as most of them. So, um, this one is also just a, a 1 to 64 Nissan Fairlady Z. This is from Kyosho. This is from the Mecco Dock six car set. And uh, it's another premium, highly detailed 1 to 64 scale casting. And it's a nice, it's a nice casting. It's a very well done casting, but to me, it's not, not quite on the same level as the, uh, the Tomica. Let's do a little side by side. You can be the judge. They're both nice. There's no doubt. All right, so in the spirit of the uh, premium JDM stuff, I have uh, a couple more. These are obviously going to be cars that have already been seen, but not since I've had the turntable where I can do a decent close-up. So I'm just going to show a few more cars and, uh, and call it a video because I, I didn't get anything other than this fair lady z <clears throat> so i wanted though to take a look at this after having just looked at the uh the new tomica limited vintage 2017 nissan gtr this is this is not a tomica but it is the next best thing. This is a Kyosho Nissan GTR. And it's not, you know, kind of like the Fair Lady, it's not nearly as nice, but it's still a very nice casting. And I bet you that that, with both of these being silver, would be another nice side by side. Look at the difference in the size of the cars. So the Fair Lady, the TLV Fair Lady is true 164. The Kyosho is it's a, a close 164. They don't uh, pride themselves on the accuracy of the scale the way that Tomica Limited Vintage does or Auto World. As far as I know, those are the only two companies that make that claim. But um, both are highly accurate, highly detailed. You can feel a big quality difference when you pick up a TLV compared to a Kyosho. As an example, this Kyosho here is a plastic base. But, it, I mean, it has rubber tires with tread. It's got all the trim detail. It's got insert headlights and taillights. So a lot of detail, but you can feel the difference, you know, when you pick it up compared to this one here, which has all of those things that I just mentioned, but this one has a metal base to go with it. So it's heavier. It just feels like a more stout, stronger, better made car. And I think personally it looks like a better, better made car as well. So... 
Um, another one that I brought out for the video, one of my favorite skylines is uh, the Japan skyline. And I have this, um, I have this car from Konami, but I did pick this one up from Kyosho. And they're both really nice. I think I like the Kyosho a little better. I do like the wheels, I think, better on the Konami. Actually, this, uh, I've got it right here. And I didn't have this turntable. This would be another pretty good side-by-side -side here. see the paint definitely looks better I think on the Kyosho the back end I think looks better on the Kyosho but I do like the wheels on the Konami Let's see if I can focus it no are we not going to focus? Uh, maybe it's the colors. So there's a good side by side just to give you an idea. And another, uh, I forgot to bring this one out. What are we at? 11 minutes? Um, while we're doing Z cars, Take this out. <coughs> Another 1 to 64 scale premium Fair Lady is the Konami, which is, I think, quite easily the most inferior of the three. I think we're going to see some flaws with this one that are pretty hard to notice with the naked eye like that left tail light um, I don't know this one looks better than I thought it would in close up I think maybe it's just those black fender flares that kind of throw me off a little bit on this one or the stance I think it sets a little bit high let's see if we can get that here I don't know it's a nice casting. It's just not uh, not on the same level as the other two, in my opinion. But I do love Konami, and I, I love Konami enough to try to scoop as many of them up as I can. And, uh, you know, if I didn't like the casting, I would not have purchased it. So, And then the last one that I brought out um, is another one that I've shown, but I haven't... Uh, I haven't given it a good look on the turntable. One of my favorite castings in my entire diecast collection is this one right here from the Beads collection. Again, let's see if I can get it to focus. But this is your. Ken Mary GTR. Or I'm sorry, it's not the Beats collection, it's Carnell. But it is Kyosho. But this one has a killer silhouette as well. That thing is nasty. That's a mean looking car. I love the lines on this car. I really wish Tomica Limited Vintage would put this one out and I wouldn't be surprised to see them do it at some point. But uh, yeah, that's a great casting. So, but uh, anyways, the purpose of the video was to show this car. And since I haven't put it away yet, 
and I still have it out from that same time frame within probably a few years. Here's an American, a smaller American muscle car. Probably the most highly detailed American brand against the most highly detailed import brand in the 1 to 64 scale. Here's your Auto World right next to your Tomica Limited Vintage. And uh, those are both true to scale. They're actual 1 to 64 scale. So as big of a car as the Fair Lady is by Japanese standards, uh, the Dart is quite a bit bigger. And the Dart is a small car, I think, by American muscle car standards of that time frame. But man, they look... They look amazing side by side like that. And the fact that the auto world doesn't have lensed headlights and taillights really doesn't take away from it at all, sitting next to a car that does. Now, I do like the wheels a lot better on the Tomica. I'm really not a big fan of these auto world wheels. I really wish they would put out a better wheel. Man, if they would, you know, I think the wheel, usually the wheels make the car on the 1 to 64 scale. But with Auto World, the car makes the car. The wheels, if anything, take away from it. So if they would make a decent looking wheel, their cars would be unbelievable. And I guess um, another thing to talk about real quick is the clarity of the glass because auto world has a reputation of having extremely clear glass that you know you don't get with hot wheels but look at side by side as they come around on the front side you won't see any blur in the nissan and you will catch a little bit of blur with the dodge so with that said i would give the edge to tomica on the glass but God, they're both amazing pieces. Great looking cars sitting next to each other. Just amazing. And uh, with that, I'm going to conclude the video. Not a lot to show you. When uh, those other two cars show up, which at this point probably won't be till next week sometime, but uh, when they do show up, I will definitely review them because I'm excited to get them. I'm excited to see what they look like in person. Um, they're different. They're not common. They're not cars that you see every day. So uh, it'll be a fun video to make as soon as I get them. Other than that, um, we'll see if I uh, find anything new out in my uh, daily travels. I have no plans of doing any die cast hunting, no plans of doing any online purchasing. Uh, I did buy another car last night from overseas. So again, it's a waiting game. It'll probably be two or three weeks before I get it. I'm really excited about that one. It's a very rare uh, casting. I, don't, I think it's the only one I've ever seen of that model. So that'll be a fun one. And it's a very popular car, so it's not like it's one of those rare quirky cars. It's a very popular car that no one really cast ever. Uh, the gener prior, prior generations were casted, and uh, generations that came after this generation were casted. But this particular generation of this car, I don't think has ever been cast in this scale, so... It'll be a fun video, but it's a few weeks away, but I'll get to it. So you all have a good weekend, <clears throat> and uh, happy hunting. Find some cool stuff. Go online, you know, buy yourselves some of this stuff. Get yourself some Kyosho or some Konami or, better yet, some Tomica Limited Vintage. And uh, I'll holler at the next video.